Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. We're doing our third interview of the day. And one of the things I love to do is I love to bring you great stories about businesses here in town. But I also want to show off a little bit that, that as business owners, we help each other out. We, we coach each other and we help new businesses come along. Now, Michelle Davis is our next guest, and she she's no stranger to you guys on this audi- uh, in this audience and on this network because you're watching here at the same time every Friday and multiple other shows on this network. So, so th- she's no stranger to you guys. She's not new to you guys, but she does have a new venture that she's talking about. And so one of the things I'd like to do with this show is bring people on who are thinking about starting a business or have a new business and kind of pull the threads on how do we help make how do we as business owners help e- help each other make our businesses successful so if you're a business owner you're thinking about starting a business you'd love to be a guest on the show you want to want to get your fix and show all your friends you can go on live internet tv uh, and get a nice little youtube video out of it for your business later on uh, let me know we'd love to have you on but we're going to start with michelle and Michelle has a new venture she's looking at, and it's, I, I don't want to sell it short because it's a new kind of concept, but essentially it's a private gym, mm-hmm. right? Yep. And so why don't you, why don't, you could tell, tell us so much better about what this is, so why don't you tell us what this new venture is? Okay. Well, thank you, Jason, for uh, having me on your show. Absolutely. And uh, for all you guys out there, you know, this is like the best show ever on WCOBM, so, you know, you need to tune in every single month to Jason's every month. show. Every, every month. Every month. Yes. But yes, so my venture is I'm going to have a very elite gym, and it's exclusive, um, basically personal training and wellness and health and nutrition, um, and also having a little spirituality and support mixed in at the same time. So as a broadcaster, I've been broadcasting for the last 10 years. It's taken me a while to find my niche in the business world as a broadcaster. Um, You know, should I broadcast about sports? Should I broadcast about fashion or rock? And roll and so I kind of went through all of these changes and phases in the broadcasting mm-hmm. industry and found that fitness really fit well with me not only does it help me as a person learn and I get to explain things that I'm very passionate about which is health and nutrition but also guests that I want to interview and I want to find out how they made it in the fitness industry how they evolved in the business world um, and being a bodybuilder it, you don't really make a living as a bodybuilder it's more more as what you're going to do to improve other people's yeah, lives. It's, it's really much more yep. of a, a fitness com, com, competing com, competition, uh, bodybuilding. It's it's really more of a passion project. Yep. It's it's a, it takes dedication, it takes discipline, and at the end of the day, it doesn't pay that well unless no. you're at the very top tier, right? Absolutely. And so a lot of the people we know a lot of people who do this in Las mm-hmm. Vegas, and they really it, it's love of the game, right? Yep. Right. And I think that's one of my questions for you is why are you starting this gym? Because mm-hmm. when we get down to marketing messages and we start pulling those threads on how do we do those marketing what are those so you know the nuts and bolts of what do those social media posts need to be what do those tv commercials need to be what do those flyers need to say it's all going to come back to your why yep and and you've really kind of encapsulated that is this fitness is very important to you it is and you're tr- and i think that's the sense of what this gym is about this gym yep. is for people who are in fitness for the love of the game, right? Whether they're whether they're competing or not. Well, and actually, it's a it's going to be a place where people are going to have challenges, and I'm going to be their accountability coach, and okay. I'm going to make sure they're going to live up to their goals. So every single week, we're going to go over and project the goals that they want to accomplish, whether okay. it's weight loss or nutrition or breaking a bad habit or something okay. that they want to focus on, where they know that their mindset needs to change and they need someone to help them do that. And the thing I find that's really captivating with fitness for me is that when I unfortunately lost my sister to breast cancer Mm -hmm. I found that having a women's support group it really really helps change the person that they couldn't do themselves and in so many ways as a woman women need to come together and empower one another so I found that you know I want to train three to five women and I want to be their accountability coach okay I would love to do challenges and I'd love to um, have the winners win their money back if they win the challenge. Okay, so now we yeah. got now we got a game, folks. Yep, now everybody we got a game. loves everybody loves games and they love a competition. And so I find that if you find something that's fun and exciting mm-hmm. and, and you can do something where you can change it up a bit and mm-hmm. you can think outside the box and ultimately change your life, that's kind of what I'm trying to come as an approach to not just being a personal trainer or a nutritionist, but actually being an accountability life coach that helps helps you succeed with the goals that you have in mind and to benefit that at the best that I can help you with. Well, I've been I've been able to to watch you 
grow with this over the last year since we've got to know each other. And yep. as you got into fitness competition, I yeah, you saw me right right at the right beginning. Right when I began, the right, pinnacle point. Right at the beginning, yep. and, and and you're articulating so well what I think was was a nebulous why for you yep. a year ago. And, and you helped me with that so much. We, really, we had a lot of coffees yeah. last summer. Well, so. you really broke it down and you were able to ground me on where I needed to basically look like a spider web in business mm -hmm. on all the different projections that I needed to take seriously, whether it was, okay, I need to um, maybe look in this area to improve my game or maybe help the um, aspects of my clients mm -hmm. in this direction. And so as a business leader, you really, really helped me kind of hone in on that well thank you i appreciate Absolutely, that yeah. that's what that's that's again why i'm here why i do this mm -hmm. show and and we were all sorry last year to hear about your sister but thank we had you. we had a wonderful celebration of life oh, for yeah. her last weekend right here yep. right here at the studios and there was such an amazing turnout i had to leave early but well thank such you an for amazing, being there such an amazing turnout and so yeah. many so many people from our community who never even got to meet your sister who were here yeah. for you and your mom hey so. if you guys like the show give a thumbs up show your love you know we love that you guys are here on facebook with us hey lisa i know there's so many people here that i want to say hi to yeah there's uh we're, we're getting a really good turnout today on the facebook live and so if you have any questions for michelle please please do the thumbs up we love to have that but um um you know if you have any questions for michelle feel free to type them in we'll use the time to answer your questions i mean i got a bunch but we can talk all the yeah, time yeah hey so. scott i sent you some emails of my competition pictures did you get any of those maybe we can show the our audience so if you got them yeah throw them up there we yeah. can keep talking while pictures are rolling up on the screen yeah so, so um, again, Jason, you've really helped me kind of look at all of the things in business mm -hmm. that I need to take seriously. So for me, it's it's opening up my own elite gym. Yeah, absolutely. And making it in a way where I can change women's lives in my life, mm -hmm. but also not not be evil or greedy. Right. Well, we to we do don't we don't believe humble. in that here. We love we love money because it gives us freedom and opportunities. Yes. But but we also like to share the wealth. There are some of those pictures. So yeah. So I so. think you are on the left in this yeah, picture. Yeah. The one on the left was March. 11th and the one on the right was March 31st. Okay. Oh, those, so those are two pictures of you. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those are two different okay. competitions. And so my plan now is to do well, that's a... That's the B side. That's the reverse. And so my plan now is to go through what is called a bulking phase where I'm gaining about 15 pounds and I'm eating tons of vegetables, tons of fruit, tons of whole grains, lots of nuts and oil. And I'm going to come back with just a little more fullness in my legs, in my back, and in my arms. That looks great. So it's just, it's a tiny little difference that honestly no one else would be able to tell except me, but I was able to uh, win my class in the last competition, so that's something I'm really looking forward to going pro next year. Thank you. So yeah, if I could help change other women's lives and at the same time um, change mine in, in a way where it's humbling. It's it's not egotistical. So this is my challenge. This is my little flyer. And okay, great. I'm looking for three to five women. If you're interested and you live in Las Vegas, um, I have some great products for you to try. I'm going to be your accountability coach every week. And this is something that's brand new for me. So uh, my phone number, please give me a call. It's at the bottom of the screen and also my email as well. So um, I'm diving into this full heartedly with with my arms open, welcoming any ladies who would like the support of changing their lives, lose some weight, feel great, and have a support team too at the same time. Well, and one of my questions for you about this that I think we've already gotten to is I want to discuss a business concept with you called switching cost. Right? Okay. There's a lot of gyms out there, big gyms, small yes. gyms, and you're looking for elite people who are looking to challenge themselves and they probably already have a gym, right? But yep. I think you've really captured that is you're providing this, this mental, this mindset, this spiritual aspect yep. to what you're going to do with this gym. And so whether it's cost or whether it's why should I change my time or my convenience, I think you've provided a, already provided a really great answer to if you're looking for someone who's going to hold you accountable, who's going to challenge you, and that's not happening at your current gym mm -hmm. or with the current program you're on. Maybe you're working out, out, out at home. Maybe you're kind of self-paced because you know enough about this. Or you want to change it up and look at something different. It's all about kind of quality of life. Your muscles get used to something, or maybe you just kind of are feeling sluggish and you need to change it up. Um, I'm doing the one-on-one -on -one kind of gym where yep. you get to play the specific music you like. You get to talk about topics and get it off your chest. We even get to have fun and make some smoothies at the end of our workout if, if you'd like to do that. It's all about changing your life, doing different habits, and conforming into your lifestyle, into the learning experience, the lifestyle change, and ultimately it, it kind of comes down to TLC, Absolutely. the acronym of it. Absolutely. Well, 
You heard it here first. Woo. More more to follow. When you're ready to open, we're going to have you back. And, cool. And we're going to maybe we'll go do a remote at your grand opening or something. That would be right? so fun. So yeah. you gave them all your contact information. That's great. You can always contact us here at the show or at the network to get a hold of Michelle as well. Thanks to Dane and Kendall who are tuning in. Love to have you guys. Stay here because Michelle's going to stay right here. We're going to bring back Lucy and Shaytoya and we're going to roll into our panel discussion, talk about a few different topics, a little, a little bit broader aspect of things. So thanks for watching. We'll be right back.